remove the wheel, take the lug nuts off with a 22 millimeter socket. Once I disconnect the lower control arm from the knuckle, this whole knuckle assembly is gonna fall down. So I'm gonna use a cable strap and just try to wrap it around this, wrap it around the shock. and tighten this up. It's just gonna hold this from falling too far. You gotta be careful of the brake hose. If this falls a little bit, it's okay, but just make sure there's no, not too much tension on that hose. These two back bolts and nuts for the lower control arm, I'm just gonna loosen those up. You don't have to take them out, you just have to loosen them. This is gonna help pivot the lower control arm when everything's loose. Just use a 15 16 wrench or 24 millimeter and a 24 millimeter socket. Loosen these up. And the same on this front lower control arm bushing bolt. For this, I'm using two sockets, 24 millimeter. Just loose enough so that the bolt spins. That's good. Now I'm gonna support the lower control arm. I'm just using a pole jack. Now I use a 21 millimeter wrench on the nut, 21 millimeter socket. Take the sh lower shock bolt out. There's gonna be some washers. You might have to adjust the pole jack. Now we're gonna take the lower control arm bolts out, use a 21 millimeter wrench on the nut, 21 on the socket side. And slide the bolt out. There is gonna be some washers. Keep in mind where those washers go. For this one, we're gonna do the same. Use a 21 millimeter wrench and a socket. And there's two washers on this side, one on this side of the knuckle, one right there. And then there's just a washer that goes on the bolt right there. So. Now you can take a pry bar and just pry this out. Try to pry, pry it up a little bit. And that washer is gonna come out just like that very carefully staying out of the direction over here. I'm gonna lower the pole jack. Just keep in mind that brake caliper hose, make sure there's not too much tension on it. And just slide this down, grab the spring and slide it out. Now transfer this bumper over to the new spring. Just line it up in the same location. Now we can kind of see where the spring was before. Try to get that in a very similar location. And the bottom as well. So it's more important to have the bottom line up than the top. The top can go pretty much anywhere, but <clears throat> try to get that bottom lined up there. All right, now we're gonna install it the same way it came out. Put the screw jack underneath and very carefully compress it. Just go nice and slow. Just using a pry bar, just try to get the knuckle lined up and the bolt. If you have to use a hammer and just try to pry it in place. I'll slide this bolt in. I'm not gonna slide this all the way in because we have that washer to put in the middle there. Just 
get that started. And take that washer. bolt in, put the other washer on, and put the nut on. And for this bolt, put the other washer on and the other nut. You want the lower control arm as close to ride height as possible. If you have to raise up on the screw jack, just be careful of the vehicle on the lift or if you're working on jack stands, it's not gonna be as stable. And realistically, you should be replacing these bolts when you do this job. Torque these bolts to 81 foot-pounds. And then use an angle meter. If you don't have a torque angle meter, then do the best you can and go an additional 45 degrees. Do the same on this one. And torque these to 89 foot-pounds. And an additional 60 degrees. Do the best you can. And for the lower shock bolt, there is a washer that is domed. So you want that dome to fit in right there on the lower control arm and slide the bolt through. There should be a washer on this side of the bolt as well. Raise that up and there's another washer and then the nut. Snug that up. And you also want to replace this bolt when doing this job and torque it to 74 foot-pounds. And then with the torque angle meter, torque it an additional 60 degrees. Do the best you can if you don't have one. And now we can lower the pull jack nice and slow. And you can take that strap off and put the wheel back on. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts down to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. 